Question 102, Business Development Program. When you open this PowerPoint, you will find out there is only one slide. The other slide would like to insert some text files. That will be same as the first question, 101. And after you insert the more slide here, and you like apply the design theme, and then you will modify some font style, and maybe some shape style. And of course, at last, you will like apply the transition for all this slide. So at last, you will find out this slide will be like this. So right now, we will start from the question one. The first question would like apply the uh, text file PPD or uh, into this slide by using the slide from the online. Okay, so we back to our PowerPoint and go back to the home uh, tab. Here is a one group slide and click the new slide. You like insert a new slide uh, from the online. So I will choose the slide from the online. And looking for where is your test file, it should be inside the same folder as this PowerPoint. PPTS Word. And when I choose this one, then I click Insert. And you will see, right now, I have a seven slide here. And then we like move the slide four to the last one. How you move a slide to another place, um, you can have a, a, a two way to do, finish this. First way, you can just drag your slide at this window. Uh, I will choose the slide for first. And as drag down the scroll bar and just drag this slide directly to the last one. When I drag this slide, can you find now I have a, a, there is a line show up. It will be at the last. Then here is the last uh, slide already uh, been moved. And I will undo. Another way, uh, once if there are lots of uh, slides, it's not easy to drag down directly, and you can use another state uh, slide sorter. Okay, and you will see the numbers right here, and this is number four, and you just drag down directly, and then finish this, go back to the normal state. So that's uh, number one. The next question would like apply the thing. It's a web form to our slide. Okay, let's back to the slide. And here the design should be have a many a theme for this. And let's check which one is the waveform. If this is not easy to find out, you should check the uh, sample. It will be like this. It's a waveform. Okay, let's back. Let me check if this one is it's not a waveform. How about this? Yeah, that's it. Waveform. Okay, then I've applied this same to over the slide. The question three would like apply the times new Roman uh, for all the text on the slide. So how we do this? You don't have to uh, select the slide one by one and change his uh, font. You can come into this window and choose the all line. Then you can see all text will be here. And you can press the control A, choose all. Right now, when I press control A, all text being highlighted. Then go back to the home and it will be the uh, font size is a Times New Roman, so I'm uh, looking for Times New Roman, it will be at the here. Okay, after I choose the Times New Roman, then look, all this text being changed to be the Times New Roman. Look, when I place my cursor here, oh, everything will be the Times New Roman. So don't choose the slide one by one. Just get inside the all line, choose all, and apply the Times New Roman. And then it will be done. Next question, we like to set up the format of the slide one. 
This format includes a title style and a shift style and the subtitles font. Okay, let's back to the PowerPoint and you need to choose the slide one. The slide one is the title slide. First, I will highlight the uh, title. And this title would like to have a font size is 60. So get inside the home tab font, change it to be the 60. And I need the text shadow. So here is the shadow there, text shadow. And then I would like it's a center text. So here is the center text inside the paragraph. Another one alignment text to be the middle. It means it's a, okay, the center text actually it's a talk about the horizontally uh, center. But alignment text, uh, it's a middle that means the vertically inside of this box. Uh, where can I find out this uh, uh, function? Uh, here, look at this. Here, and we will choose the middle. And the character spacing is one point. Character spacing will be inside the font. You can choose this, uh, it's a character spacing. Um, not because here we don't have a one point, it's very tight, tight, or loose, very loose. So we will get inside the more spacing. And look, the spacing is a normal, uh, but you can change it to expand to be the uh, one point. Then click OK, and that will be the uh, style of this title. And then I will change the shape style of this title. And this is a box. I would like to apply the intense effect blue accent too. So here, uh, when I highlight this, you can see this a drawing tool will show up. Get inside this format. Here is the shape style. So looking for this, intense will be at uh, will be at the last one line. Okay, it's a blue and accent accent too. So it will be like this here. Show me the uh, character intense effect, blue accent too. Yeah, that's it. So I will choose this one. Okay, this is a, a shape style. And last last one, we like to change the subtitles uh, font. That means this one. Okay, I still highlight this box. Font size is 48. So I change this to be the 48. And the underline style is the dash heavy line. Uh, here I don't have a spatial underline, so get inside the font. Uh, which one is a dash heavy line? This is a dot heavy line. So how about this? Yeah, dash heavy line. So I will choose this one. Dash heavy line. And the color will be the dark blue, so I will choose this one. It's dark blue. Okay, then that would be like this. So right now, the number four, we set up the uh, title of the uh, style of the title and the shape title and the subtitle style. And number five, we like to modify the other slide uh, from the slide two to the slide seven. First, we like to uh, modify this font of the title and then we like to modify the other paragraph. Okay, let's back to the PowerPoint and I will select the slide two. Here, the highlight the title of this slide, and its font size should be the 48. So I will change the font size, and the character spacing is a 0 0.5 with the text shadow. Uh, maybe I will uh, click the uh, shadow first. And here is this is the character spacing more, and you can just type one point. Uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.5 then this normal will be changed to be the expand. And we will click OK. And that will be the font of the title uh, for the slide two. And the other will be the same. So we don't need to uh, one by one. We can uh, copy this format. Uh, remember that in the home tab, the clipboard here, I have a, a format painter. We can use format painter to apply this uh, slide to another uh, slide. So uh, that's because I need to copy uh, many times, not just once. So I will click this uh, for my pender twice, double click. I will select uh, slide three and just click for the title. 
four, number four, slide five, click the title, six, seven, click the title. And after this, I don't need this painter, so I will go back, click one more time, or you can press the uh, escape key to cancel this cop uh, copy format. Then we were trying to change the paragraph of the text. The line spacing is a single, and the bullet size will be the one thirty percent of the text. That means it's a bullet, and it's a line spacing. So we will back to the uh, slide. So first, I will highlight the text. Uh, where can I find out the line spacing? It will be uh, inside the paragraph group. This one is a line spacing. Uh, it's a single. But right now, it's already single. And then bully, here is bully. Go there, it's a 130%. So I will change the size to the 130%. Click OK. I will check the, this is line spacing. OK, if you get inside the line spacing here, it's a single. Single means it's a one, that's the same. All right, we did this. I'll write it down this, and then the other will be the same. So I still want to use the uh, for my painter. Double click for the uh, slide six, for the slide five. And slide two. And I will press the escape key to uh, cancel this uh, for my painter. Then we finish the number five. The slide already uh, been formatted, so last step we like apply the transition. Uh, this kind of transition is the uh, rotate, and its effect is option is from the top. And then I would like have some option. For example, I will disable on mouse click and set the advanced slide after two seconds. Okay, let's back to the com uh, PowerPoint. Uh, first, uh, the transition, we like to apply the uh, rotate. So, where is the rotate? Okay, it will be at the dynamic content. And the uh, effect option is from top. So, coming here to choose from the top, this one. And then, we like to uh, disable the on mouse click here. It's uh, your timing in the transition. I don't like to have a, a mouse click. With mouse click, I don't want to advance my slide. So I will disable, cancel this. And uh, still have the uh, advanced slide after two seconds. So this one should be after two seconds. Okay, but you must be very careful. All this transition must uh, be applied to all slides, so you need to click the so apply to all. Remember that last time I say if you see this symbol, okay. Right now I have a transition, but the others I don't have one. So you need to click apply to all. Then you can see every slide with such kind of transition, and we finish this question right now. And then I would like to play this PowerPoint.